Hello everyone, thank you for watching. Today is June 26, 2020, and we've been asked by a lot of our viewers about uh, truck walk around video, truck tour videos, and that's what we're here to do today is uh, talk to you a little about uh, one of our, our members of our fleet, truck number six. We actually call this truck Wilbur. Um, funny story, we bought this from a friend up in Pennsylvania, short little story. Bought this from a friend up in Pennsylvania and uh, they repainted this truck right before we bought it. And on the window, someone had drawn a cartoon pig uh, right there on the window. And my, my mother noticed it on the way back home with this truck. And, and we started calling it Wilbur and it just stuck. So we call this truck Wilbur, the pig. And uh, it's been a good truck for us. It is a 2003 Ford F550 XLT with the six liter power stroke diesel engine along with the ZF6 uh, manual transmission, four-wheel drive unit. You've seen this in lots of videos of ours. It's a good unit to go off-road with. Uh, it has the uh, push bumper on the front, along with the 8,000-pound worn electric winch. The push bumper is very handy if you pull up on an accident scene and near the clear of the road to prevent secondary crashes, to open the road back up so people can get home to their families. Uh, the push bumper is a great addition to a wrecker. You don't see them much anymore, but it also adds protection from deer and things like that with the grill guard. So uh, very handy to have. The front winch is also a very handy tool in case we were to ever get stuck. Now it's only an 8,000 pound electric, which is all that would fit in that bumper. But if you were, uh, let's say you were turning around a dead end road and had a winch out, instead of backing all the way out and backing back in, you could just attach the front winch and pull the car out. Or if you were to get stuck and need to use a couple snatch blocks to pull yourself out, you could do that. So moving on down, just kind of give you a look around. We're going to open the cab door. This truck only has 62,000 miles on it. Very low miles for the year. Uh, and inside the cab, you can see things like our, uh, our switch panel. You're pretty nice at that, but we try to keep them clean. You've got our wireless Tomate light bar, the helmet cam right there, along with our ticket book, our rechargeable uh, stream light here. We've got our gloves here in the side pocket. The GoPro mount that we've been playing with is a suction cup mount that we try to use whenever we can. So pretty, pretty nice interior uh, behind the seat. We have, uh, well, Hodges towing hat, some, uh, our booster packs there, two booster packs, a small one and a larger one. Another uh, pad if you need to press down on take directions or things. And we'll show you that in just a minute behind the other seat. This truck is equipped with four toolboxes on it. Uh, this is uh, one side of our tunnel box. Hold on one second, we'll turn the, uh, the toolbox lights on so we can see a little bit better. And inside our tunnel box, you can see we have our uh, our snatch blocks. We have four snatch blocks on this side. These are for the synthetic rope. Uh, we have two other snatch blocks on the other side you'll see in a minute that are just for the front winch. But also you can see we have our chains, J hooks, uh, mini J clusters. We have our rim slings there, our muck boots, which if you watch the uh, off-road recovery mission videos, you know I definitely needed those when we did that job. So I've got a set. We also have the Milwaukee rechargeable uh, scene light that is absolutely wonderful at night. We have some cribbing back here, broom and shovel, our underlift tie down, our wheel lift tie down straps there. You can see on the lights, we do have red and amber inside the toolbox flashing. So when the toolbox door is open, you can see on the side of the road. I've been asked uh, before about red lights on our tow trucks. We do run red lights on the rear, and you can see there on the rear light bar, we run red. Um, in South Carolina, it is legal for us to run red lights facing rearward, which means aim towards the, uh, the back of the truck. So we can't run them facing forward like fire trucks and ambulances do, but we can run them facing rearward. So that will, uh, that is South Carolina law. We do not run them going down the road 
unless there is an absolute need uh, such as debris falling off or um, wide load or things like that so moving back we have our recovery toolbox which has uh, has a fold out measure so we can find out just how far off the road they are to know whether we're going to need the extra straps or chains and how many we're going to need so that we uh we don't have to make 15 trips back and forward pulling the right gear we have uh round slings flat straps these are called cruise loops if you're familiar with the rec master uh rec master discipline we have cruise loops and twin path recovery slings we also have multiple shackles crosby shackles in here that we can use on a job also below this we'll pull these out we have uh winch line extension synthetic rope extension this is a 50 foot extension along with some strap protectors but that 50 foot extension definitely helps when we're going out long distances you saw that in uh one of the other videos we posted with this truck we use our winch line extensions to get out to that vehicle so they're very handy to have uh moving back to this wrecker bed so let's talk about it for a this wrecker bed here is a century uh wrecker bed made by miller industries it is a century 412 twin line wrecker unit it is a eight ton wrecker unit uh, it has eight thousand pound ramsey winches you can see here equipped with samson amsteel blue synthetic rope 7 16 diameter and uh i'm gonna tell you you've seen it on the on our videos and the channel how easy it is to use and boy is is it easy it is so much easier than uh the old steel rope and things like that it has a working load limit of 5375 pounds it is definitely some strong stuff we'll zoom in here on the hooks and the rope itself kind of show you the thimbles the steel thimbles which gives it a lot of its strength too and the rope so this 7 16 rope only weighs 4.5 pounds per 100 foot and compare that to steel in 7 16 you're going to be looking at a weight difference of like 34 pounds per 100 foot so it's definitely easier on my shoulders on my back uh, we have a lot of viewers ask about our trash cans on this truck and south carolina highway patrol requires us to carry some kind of container for oil dry and debris so this one here is equipped with oil dry and the one on the passenger side is equipped for debris so uh that's what those are there for we have our wheel scoops here they just slide right out of the back of the bed and they hook into our wheel if they have a four thousand pound rating each so we also have the tow sling which a lot of the newer auto loader tow trucks and stuff do not have a sling but we still use ours uh, a lot of times on wrecks or box trucks or uh, heavier things that we need to use the, the sling for get it closer to the back of our wrecker so we don't have as much as much overhang like we do with the wheel lift so we have our controls over here just like the other side that work the winch and the underlift controls on both sides you can see they move levers our winches are color coded red on the left and blue on the right so if we have someone who's not familiar with our truck working it they can just uh reach and grab the lever they need and uh push in or out we can tell them in on red or in on blue much easier i forgot to mention one thing about our hooks these are self-locking hooks they are great hooks to have uh if you're not using this in the tow industry i highly suggest you get some because it prevents tip loading so tip loading is when you hook a hook in and you you pull right here on this tip and you overload that tip and it can break off easy this one when you put the chain in it's impossible to tip load because as soon as you put pressure on it it locks that hook oh, let me get a better shot for you you just put pressure and it locks and it don't come unlocked until you flip this uh, trigger here. Pretty handy to have. So moving around, uh, we're getting to the passenger side of our tow truck, the rear box here. It has our toolbox. It also has our uh, starting fluid, penetrating fluid, bungee cord strap. We have a lock where we can pull it out. 
You have some uh, lineman pliers, some channel lock pliers, vice grips, needle nose, assortment of wrenches and screwdrivers. On the bottom, you have your socket sets, some inverted torques. We, uh, we have a company that has a lot of sprinters and they run the inverted torques head driveline bolts. Hammer, so this is a general toolbox. This toolbox came from uh, Northern Tool, I believe, and it fit perfectly in there with some spacers and blocks. So it works really well. Our tunnel box over here has our traffic cones, our mini J cluster, another one, as well as another J hook, two uh, snatch blocks for the front winch, and a uh, what they call a ball dog, which you saw in the Tacoma stuck in the uh, flood zone. We use it there. That's our ball dog. As well as you can see that light again and the uh, broom and shovel blocks of wood under each tie down, the wheel lift tie down. And behind this door, we have our tow light turned on there for you. Turn it off. We also have a uh, lockout kit and our winch control if we ever need it. So uh, that right there, folks, is truck number six. I'll step back so you can get another look at it. We're actually at a local elementary school here uh, parked in one of their driveways they're not using. To show you this, that we've done a lot of uh, tow talks, what we call career days tow talks at and uh, really a beautiful place to be able to do this walk around. Show you the reach of that boom, which is pretty impressive for a small unit uh, as far as it can reach height and length. I think the boom on this truck is actually almost as long, if not longer than my 16 ton single axle. So it is very handy to have. You can see the lights there. The wheel lift here does have the pivoting grids. You can just uh, you can unpin it, and they can turn. Get a better shot. They can turn in to grab a tire if it's turned or if it's flat. We leave them spread out so that they're always ready to grab a vehicle. And that is truck number six. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave us a comment below. Tell us what you thought about it. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We're so thankful for so many of you subscribing. We're over 2,000 subscribers now. It is amazing to see how quickly the channel has grown over the short period of time. And we thank you so much for that. We hope you're getting a good content. We are trying our best and uh, to provide you with that good content. And I know a lot of you are struggling right now being cooped up at home. I know we have one uh, subscriber comment that he has been stuck at home and these videos are very nice to have. And we're so glad they'll help during this time of uh, quarantine. So uh, just, just want to know that we're thinking about you and we're trying to get you some good content out there to watch. And we do appreciate everything that you say, every like you leave and every subscriber that we have, we do appreciate you. So we're gonna to try to get some more of these walk around videos with the other trucks. So tell us what you thought about this one. Anything you'd like for us to talk about more, anything you thought we spent too much time talking on or I spent too much time talking on. And uh, we'll take note of that and we'll make changes to new videos coming up. So uh, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit that uh, notifications bell so you'll be notified whenever we post. We try to post bi-weekly, so uh, just let us know. And most importantly, God bless.